Uh, Josh Green here for Tungsten Tales. Delighted to be joined by Martin Lukeman at the World Championships. Martin, is it all settling in now? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Is it? Everybody talks about Ali Pali as the dream for a darts player. Is it something that you've been looking forward to just for many, many years now? Oh yeah, of course. Everyone wants to go to the World Championships, doesn't he? It's a it's a highlight of being a professional dart player and his career. Um, yeah, I'm up. I'm up for. Mm. At the start of this year, did you think <clears throat> World Championships was possible? Do you think the form was there to to get you to Ali Pali? Um, I started to play a bit better at the back end of last year, but. Like I said, you know, this year was just strictly just trying to keep my tour card one way or another. But obviously, I've done more than that now, and getting all these big TV comps and all that can only do you good. Yeah, so I mean, what what point did you believe that you could make the World Championships? When it was, was it when you started doing damage on the Euro Tour? Was that sort of where you believed? I don't know, really. I'm just I was just taking it one month at a time, one competition at a time. And then, I don't know, maybe halfway through the year or something, people were like, you're in the World Championships already. I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, you, there's, there's no way you're going to get caught. And then I sort of started realising, wow. And obviously in the Grand Prix and match and whatever else. Mm. But yeah, it's good. Did it creep up on you a little bit how well you were doing? Because you were obviously winning games, but it's only when you really look back that you've realised what you've achieved this year. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I say, at the beginning, I started getting on them Euro tours, got on that final, and it sort of opened so many doors getting that final. Gave me the money for the match play, and then it was like a big chain reaction. And all of a sudden, I think the only one I missed this year was um, Grand Slam. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was been good. <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty good record. I mean, any player that plays every TV major apart from that one, is going to be putting themselves in in good positions. Are you sort of happy where you are in the order of merit and maybe even looking up towards seeded positions in the future? Oh, yeah, definitely. I thought I could have had, um, if I had a good run in them last pro tours, I might have even been able to sneak into the top 32. But it just wasn't to be. I had a bit of a bad end and just take that on the chin and move on, didn't I? You've got to, yeah. Um, In terms of, TV form this year. Obviously, you're in the match play for the first time. A good run at the World Grand Prix. How much will that help going into the Worlds? Oh, yeah. I've had loads of stage experience now. I've said it before in other interviews. That they're all the same, them stages. Just different sponsors and different whatever. But, you know, you've still got a load of thousand people behind you shouting and screaming. It's just all the same now. Different colours and that. Even at the World Championship? Well, I don't. I've never been, so I can't. I can't say that, Chuck, can I? <laughs> but you've you've seen what's on TV, and you've seen what the crowd's like behind the player. It's um, I've been lucky enough to go five times now. Um, it's a completely different atmosphere to anything now. Are you sort of ready for what the crowd throws at you? Because you don't know which way they're going to go. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Well, if I can get for the first one against a Japan. Guy, um, I'm not going to pronounce his name, so I'll just mess it up. Um, I got Schindler. Now, normally I play Schindler. I'm in Germany, so hopefully yeah. I'll have a bit of support on my side this time. If I get through that first one, that is. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Obviously, I ain't been Ali Pally in that before, so it's going to be different. But it can't be that much different for the others. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned Martin Schindler there, and you've played him, as you say, on on the Euro Tour. Have you learned how much? a crowd can can make a difference and can play a part in a game at times. Oh, yeah, definitely. 100%. I mean, luckily I've got a bit of selective hearing, so that does help me on the, as my wife always says, um, helps me on the stage so I can just sort of focus. But yeah, you do your little niggles and stuff. People's names have been called out and stuff. But especially, I think I played mine two or three times in Germany this year. Mm. Played them a couple of times on a pro tour, fires. I think we're about 50-50 matches so you know we'll see what happens but as I say we'll get through the first one can't count my chickens for the action all that <laughs> certainly can't I mean we don't know too much about the 
the Japanese qualifier, which you've been drawn drawn against, is it a little bit dangerous sometimes not knowing much about a player and you don't really know what's going to turn up? Yeah, definitely. But I've been like that most of the year since I started my talk, really. Um, obviously, we know our players and stuff, but until you start playing them and seeing what they're about, you don't really know, do you? But yeah, I'm just going to go there. I'm going to focus 100%. Extra hours before before the game, uh, days leading up to it, and that puts a bit of extra pre- uh, practice into it, and uh, hopefully I'll get the job done. Yeah, have you you've been putting in the extra hours? I know, obviously, the, with all the money on the line at the World Championship, there's a huge amount of money just in those first and second round games. It's important that you put in as much as you can. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But around last year, I was practicing seven, eight, nine hours a day, and doing really good. So this year I've started, obviously I've quit my job, but I've been doing selective practising because I can practise now in my room here and you end up picking up bad habits. So it's good to have an hour or two hours or just to keep your arm loose. And I've had a bit of a niggle in my elbow as well for a little while. And I, I like to give that a rest. Like I've done two days practice Saturday and Sunday, like nine hours of competitions each day. One, one of them and whatever and the other. And, uh, Obviously, they were two long days. So, Monday, I gave it a break. But today, I'm going to go out and have a few hours with my mate down at the local club, do two or three hours there. But it's sort of selective practising. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the way to do it, really. Um, going forward for yourself, you talked about those seeded positions and uh, their aim. Is an aim for you just to be, once again, like this year, in those TV tournaments and, and sort of putting the pressure on the, the big names? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. I want to. Hopefully, after this world, I, you know, there's a chance of me in the top, being in the top thirty-two anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, if I can win a few games here and there, but yeah, you know, but I'm not thinking about numbers and stuff like that. Like I said, I've been beyond. Next year, I'm just going to think. Keep my tour card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Done me good this year, so I'll do the same. Yeah. Yeah, you're not defending any money, obviously, at the world. So you go in there with a clean slate, and there's going to be lots of players that'll be defending big money. I mean, one win, and you're you're up the rankings at the world, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and same as next year as well. Yeah, next year I, I didn't get enough. Uh, last year I didn't get in TV competition, so next year is basically a free run as well. But apart from the nine and a half thousand pound I picked up, I'm sure you can. Uh, I'm sure you you've got the capabilities to defend that, mate. <laughs> I know. I, I, it's, it's not about defending it though. I need to like sort of take some pressure off me for this year. So mm-hmm. next year, you know, in my head, I'm thinking right, fifty six k be good. You know, not better. You know, more or a little bit less, whatever. But I'm just gonna crack on with that and hopefully you can average that every year. You know, you should be able to keep the card, no problem. Yeah, definitely. Well, I appreciate your time, Martin, and uh, we'll be down at the Worlds every single day. So hopefully, we'll see you down there after your first round win. Cheers, pal. Thank you very much.